All right, so today on the 29th, the second great amiibo hunt of 2015, and the second one of all time for me, took place. Let's see what we got. First of all, I stopped by Target when they opened up. No, wait, that's not right. First, I stopped by Walmart. They've been open, and they were open for like an hour and a half or so. And uh, let's see, what I got from Target was this here Pac-Man amiibo, and this here Charizard amiibo. They were actually just there weren't any more of these, it was only this two lying on the shelf, so I guess I just got pretty lucky that no one else had picked those up yet, and that um, they weren't being sold like in a separate area of the store. So those were the first ones that I got from uh, Walmart, I was pretty happy to find them. Then I went to Toys R Us, and uh, no wait, no I didn't, I keep, <laughs> I keep mixing this up. Okay, I went to Walmart, then I went to Target. What I got from Target was, let's see, I got myself a Silver Mario, I got my, and I got myself a Jigglypuff, definitely possibly the most rare amiibo or most uncommon expensive whatever amiibo that I got on that day, even though it just launched, you know, sometimes you can tell when these things are going to be pretty rare. So yes, Pac-Man and Charizard from Walmart, then at Target we got Silver Mario and Jigglypuff. And then I went, that's when I went to Toys R Us. And at Toys R Us, I got myself another Silver Mario. Then I also got myself a Wario. And of course, Greninja. I don't, I don't know actually if Jigglypuff or Greninja is more rare than the other, but it seemed like there were more Greninja amiibos than there were Jigglypuff ami amiibos. I don't know why, but Toys R Us had a, a better stock than um, Target did of the Jigglypuff. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see which of these two becomes the more expensive or the more expensive and rare to find, like on the internet and whatnot. So yes, I got those from uh, got those from Target. Toys R Us, derp. Then I swung by Best Buy, where they had a pretty good stock of uh, Silver Mario, Pac-Man, and Charizard. But no Meta Knight, unfortunately. I just got myself another Charizard to sell on the internet. I'm hoping... It seems like Charizard's selling out pretty quickly, so hopefully I can sell this guy on the internet for a good amount of money. Um, I'm also considering selling Wario, maybe? We'll have to see. It depends on what the price for him is, though. Because if he... If I can only find him on the internet for like 15 bucks, or even 20, then I... Probably just hold on to him. Alright, let's see what else. Yeah, I got my second Silver Mario from uh, Toys R Us. Alright. I keep on mixing this up for some reason. Alright, let's just recap for no reason. At Walmart, we got a Pac-Man and Charizard. Then at Target, we got a Silver Mario and Jigglypuff. If we can get in the frame there. Then I went to Toys R Us where I got Greninja, Silver Mario, and Wario. Then lastly I went to Best Buy and got myself another Charizard. And that's how the story went. So we now have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we have a total of nine amiibos in my cute little collection. I'm really hoping that Silver Mario and Charizard will become uncommon and able to be sold. Because I have two of them, so selling these on the internet would be quite nice. I mean, these things can practically pay for themselves, depending on which rare, rare ones you get. But speaking of rare, um, uh, Target had Target did have Robin and Lucina amiibos, but they only had like four of each. And I was at the back of the line of like 15 people, so... Robin and Lucina were gone by the time I got to them. Like, I just can't believe how low stock those two amiibos were. For some reason, the Fire Emblem characters are pretty rare to find, and I have no idea why. Ugh, oh well. I should have gotten the line quicker, but I didn't. Alright, so now before we end things, um, I think I'm going to arrange them for the hell of it. I think I'll arrange them in the order of rarity that I predict. Again, totally a prediction. I don't even know, like, if this could become true. So, let's see. Alright, should Pac-Man or Wario go first? Um... 
It's close. Uh, well, actually, I did stop by another target, and they had a lot of Pac-Man, so... Let's go with Pac-Man. I think he'll be the least common. Then we go with Wario. And then, uh, let's see. Silver Mario or Charizard? Which one would be the next rare? Also, the cat's crying for me. Cast your vote now. Silver Mario or Charizard? Which one is going to be the more expensive? Do, 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 do. I'm just going to guess it's going to be uh, Silver Mario, because Charizard is a... This guy has a lot of history. And, you know, Mario is a character that Nintendo keeps tends to keep in stock a while. I mean, if this were a gold Mario amiibo, this would be, like, really awesome. It would probably be the most rare thing on the list, but... This is only silver, and it's not exclusive to any store, so... I'm gonna say that Charizard's gonna be a little more rare than Silver Mario. But I could be totally wrong on that. Alright, let's get, a, get rid of the clones. Alright, now for second place and first place. I'm gonna choose... Greninja being the second most rare. And I'm gonna choose Jigglypuff as the f most rare amiibo. Um... I'm doing that because, I mean, even though Greninja has more complex design than Jigglypuff does, Toys R Us seemed to have a better stock of Greninja, because Target only had like 20 of these bad boys. Toys R Us seemed to have quite a bit. I was in a line of like 30 people or so, like 30 plus people at Toys R Us, and they still had plenty of Greninjas, so... This is my prediction for the rarity. Pac-Man, Wario, Silver Mario, Charizard... Greninja, and Jigglypuff. I could be wrong on these two and these two. We're gonna have to see, though. But anyway, these guys will not now be joining little Bowser here in my Amiibo collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this little Amiibo hunt number two. I don't know when the fourth one's gonna take or when the third Amiibo hunt is gonna take place. I think uh, whenever Olimar, Ganondorf, and I think Game & Watch come out? And is that when Rob comes out as well? I don't know. So maybe I'll see you back here for the third great amiibo hunt of wave 5 amiibos, I think. I think Olimar and Ganondorf are in wave number 5, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong on that. Hopefully my wallet can take that, because my wallet could barely handle this stuff. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little amiibo hunt update, and I'll talk to you later.